Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the second day of Blitz Pit. Um, this is some round, I don't really know what round it is because it's all a bit weird with the, uh, with the lose, winner's bracket and loser's bracket. Uh, there's Kill Bill Waltz's team. The main thing about his team is that he has Griff Oberwald, which um, you know isn't on there, but he is 7, 4, 4, 8, uh, Blodge, Sprint, Sure Feet and Fend. So he's pretty impossible for my team to deal with uh, due to not having any tackle and not having the strength four to blitz him and then also not getting the frenzy from the wolves on him. So yeah, Griff's very hard to deal with. Um, and there's my team and it's all right, isn't it? And uh, yeah, in the booth is Fimea and Calcium who will do all the commentary as I try hard and try to play well. So there you go. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. Wait. A wizard and a grief, Jesus. He doesn't have a wizard, he's just doing that for, uh, for the uh, memes. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> uh, okay, this is it. So, this is it. All depends on rolling pause on the blitz on grief with a zombie, red dice, two pause. Easier than things we have seen here uh, yesterday, calcium, I guess. Yeah, so, Famer, I think Jim's got two ways to play this. He can either try and bum Griff to death as quickly as possible, or he can deal with the other support characters and just keep Griff locked. Um, I, I'm a bit 50-50 as to which one I would try to do right now. Going after Griff is high risk, because Jim's got no tackle and Griff has got Fend. So that negates the frenzy of the Claw Mighty Wolves. What do you think? I think that uh, for the first time, I'll try to get rid of the other players. There are a lot of juicy targets uh, without the yeah. uh, block that can get a nice hit. You know, and Griff try to make things difficult of him, make it the Griff, you know, roll dice and pray for that one in 36. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, if Griff falls to the ground, you have to foul Griff. Oh without a shadow of doubt and you know jim's obviously got a good spread of zombies um born fouling machines about the only thing they're good for other than standing on the los and taking shots but yeah i'm i'm particularly looking at the stand firm blitzers obviously the mighty blow tackle blitzer he's a primary target jim has already pointed out the weakness with the thrower and the catcher the catcher doesn't have block so they are high value targets as well yes. Yes, those are the kind of people you want to hit, and uh, especially with a two reroll team, if you can get rid of the leader, that leaves them with just one reroll, and that's very bad news for the humans. Yeah, um, Kilsey, yeah, absolutely. It's situational, though, isn't it? You know, if if Griff does take a, a dive on the floor, then you'd be doing everything you could to foul him off the pitch. But if you're men down, obviously fouling them becomes very risky. So it's pretty situational. But you know me, I, you know, if I had one player left, I'd be fouling with him. So, but Jim is a better player than I am. There we go, start with the blitz on a random zombie. Nice. The perfect play for Jim now next turn is kill one uh, player so he gets a zombie so he can uh, foul. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, Jim Jim just has to chip away. So Kill Bill um, is offered up a lino already. You know, that that's standard stuff, isn't it? But I, I would be surprised if Jim doesn't try to chip that player um, because it's no risk, isn't it? Um, you, you, can, you can hit him and then recover position with the werewolves, not put him under any threat. Um, I've missed who won the toss. Did Kill Bill win the toss? No, uh, Jimmy won, and, uh, and Jimmy took the defense, which is the right yes, choice, is. I think. Yeah, absolutely. And there you go. One in nine. And with two rerolls, you have to eat it. And now uh, Jimmy can put uh, a lot of pressure. And if Grief doesn't pick up the ball, it's a two plus. All right, that's a very bad situation for the human. Yeah, yeah. So Jim's got a bit of a decision here. Um, he can obviously get a two D off with one of those zombies on the LOS, but do you want to? Because right now those flesh golems are doing a great job of locking down that 
near entire LOS. Last time action and going for the 2D versus the leader. You know, yeah. because if it's a bot yeah. down, you can take it, no problem. Yeah, you, you've got to hit that leader, haven't you? You know, even if you push him off of the flesh golems, you've got to hit him. So here's the um, predictable uh, hit on the lino. This was going to happen all day, and it's the right thing to do. There you go, first removal, happy days. Yeah, that'll make Jim feel quite good. Um, it, it doesn't have a big impact on the drive. You know, Kill Bill Waltz will be expecting KOs. He will be expecting to suffer removals. Yeah, but I mean, uh, in first, uh, oh, two seconds. Oh, Jim, time management. Oh, he's done it all in zero seconds, look. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, with that, with that fail, that will be uh, very bad what? news. Hang on a minute. What was that? What? First action? Griff? Well, what other options he has? Oh, he could have uh, maybe Griff doesn't, blitz. Griff, Griff the doesn't have, wife. Um, he doesn't have sure hands, does he, Griff? No. Okay. That I think maybe to... the, that should have been the first uh, action, would have been the blitz with the tackle mighty blow on yeah. the white. Yeah, you, you'd have been looking at recovering the ball there towards the end of the turn, not the beginning of the turn. That could have been disastrous. I, I don't like that. Hey, it's it doesn't matter. It's a moot point. It's paid off, but I still don't like it. I don't like uh, that he went straight to one of the sides. He could have stayed a little more in the center. Yeah, why? You know, in, in this early part of the game, he's got no... This this favors Jim massively. The fact that Kill Bill has decided to take a flank. Um, yeah, I, I don't like this either. So that's two things that Kill Bill's done in the first two turns that I'm, I'm not a fan of. Yeah, Kilsey. Uh, one side, yeah, with Frenzy loitering around, it does seem exceptionally risky. Yeah, Steve's pointing out as well, committing to one side early. You know, so we've got a very learned crowd that supports Jimmy Fantastic. And to be fair, you've supported Jimmy Fantastic long enough. You know, why wouldn't you know this game inside out? Why wouldn't you be an expert at this game? You know, you've got a Grandmaster Jimmy Fantastic leading the way. Uh, there you go. That's a. Uh, can you get a? No, he can't. I he can't get a shot on the ball. Can he? No, that's why he's followed up there. Because he's realised he can't get a shot on the ball. But he can put a lot of pressure there. Yeah. There's the oh, big power. Oh, beautiful power there. Ah, uh, never lucky. Never lucky. Another removal would have been absolutely massive. That's a guard, a block player. Peaky little double power. Well, Jim will be looking for the foul here. I was thinking about that, you know. Is it, oh, another removal? Probably not now. Um, the KOs, those two KOs are really nice. Um, I, yeah, I don't think Jim will... I don't, miss, I don't think Jim will look for the foul. Jim, Jim loves a foul. You know, nowhere to the extent I love a foul, but I don't know if he will kill Z at Satterfield. I don't know. I think he's just happy keeping position. Yeah, I'm, Satterfield, I'm with you. You know, I'm, I'll never turn down a good foul. Yeah, but nah, Timmy's a foul of ours. But now he has, you know, more or less a nearly lock. The whole uh, team. I, maybe I would prefer having the white a little higher, but then they will leave the bottom up more open. The switch here, I, I Kill Bill has to switch, um, but unfortunately for Kill Bill, the, the la a large proportion of his team is in the wrong side of the pitch. You know, so 
Jim's going to be able to cope with this switch. One of the strengths of Necro is the key players have high mobility. So, yes, Jim, he only Jim, has one player free left. Yeah, and that's yeah. The thrower. Now yeah. is the roll of three pluses. And if yeah. he fails any of them, he can uh, afford to reroll it. So that's the kind of player that Jimmy has to play, you know, a base, uh, create, make things difficult, and at some point, Kill Bill will fail a roll, and that's it. Yeah. Not happening right now. If I'm being hypercritical of Jim, um, I don't know if I would have loaded the right-hand side the way he did with the zombies. I might have encouraged Kill Bill to stay on that flank. Um, but... Jim should still be able to cope with this here. Well, Kill Bill made all the rolls. Yeah. Jimmy, I think he's going for the three dice on the catcher. And I think it's Jimmy with the zombies and the waste can uh, lock a lot of the. I'd, human be, I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted to mighty blow. Claw the guard catcher. If I'm that's honest, the one I was, that's, that's the one I was thinking. Three dice. Oh, three yeah. dice. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate a two D shot on him. Um, whatever Jim. Whatever Jim's doing, he wants Kill Bill to score in the next turn or two. He wants Kill Bill to score by turn five. And yes. given that Kill Bill is now two men down, I think it's going to be difficult for him to stall. That's um, the second uh, better result for Jim, you know, uh, forcing him to uh, score, which is complicated yeah. because well, you want to risk a handoff from a uh, grief. And there you go. Three dice into two dice. Yeah, that, that's fine. And, you know, um, to be honest, either or. Um... Jesus Christ, that the uh, catcher is made of adamantium. Jim's Claw's last game didn't really wake up until the second half, did they? So, yeah. Uh, why is Kill Bill dropped in there? That's a one I think I think he didn't realize it was a. Yeah, that's a mistake, isn't it? <laughs> a yeah. mistake. So there was a guard uh, player. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's fine. And it, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes at this game. But it is a commentator's job to point it out. There we go. That was a big one. Rando GFI. Wow. Did he Taking need to make that advantage GFI? of that feet. Oh, wow. All the dodges. <laughs> oh, now is the risk. He needs to make this one, doesn't he? With the thrower? Yes, he needs to need uh, with the thrower. He needs to move the thrower. Yeah. Will be this one done. Ah, there you go. He's got to re-roll it, otherwise. Has, it has to re roll it, yes. Ah, oh, like a dog. Yeah, it, it didn't feel safe, Satfield, because it wasn't safe. <laughs> anything but safe but it looks like he's got away with it looking for finding that opening Peaky pow. Oh, that was a lucky pow there. Ooh, nice. 
Ah, there you go. Nice removal. And now, yes, now he's like, uh, he has to... Well, he's making Griff roll dice, I guess, so... Got to follow up. He's got to follow up. Yeah, had to follow up there. And there you go, Griff doing the usual bullshit. But four times for uh, Jimmy, only yeah. one roll for uh, Kill Bill. The catcher is out. Yeah, um, the wolf could have surfed Kilzy. Um, yeah, it would have no, been red dice, but it was yeah. I mean, that, sorry, last turn, but I wouldn't have gone for it. Um, if I'm Jim right now, I'm quite happy that Kill Bills had to score by turn five. Four turns, as you've just said, Famir, four turns is more than enough for Jim to score here. Um, the it's... LOS blocks. Have to love them. <laughs> Jim, no kills are you moron. Yeah, the, I was trying to be nice, but yeah, it, it, it wasn't the play. <laughs> no, no, the, the red dice is, uh, I think, for... Not the first four turns of the game. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to say there's no kills at Griff has yeah. fend if you meant Griff, and if you meant yes. the uh, if you meant the blitzer, you'd stand firm. He has so stand firm, yes. Yeah. And I, I just I just like to take the piss out of kills at because I know he doesn't mind it. <laughs> they are kills. He gets a PS4 Pro for that. Bear, I'd, for, I'd forgotten. Um, I'd forgotten about Fend as well, Kilsey. But it was such a stupid option. I hadn't. Yeah, I didn't even consider it before thinking about Fend. You could make it one dice, and and he hasn't had Fend. Yeah, worth it. But uh... Fend blodge. No, Jim did exactly the right thing. Force kill build to score early. So now, Jim just needs some kind dice, doesn't he? He just needs some decent dice. Protecting against the Blitz. Okay, how you doing? Yeah, Satfield, it's um, it's what it was always going to be, wasn't it? Yes, oh, and this is nice. So, I hate Kill Bill's setup. Yeah. Kill Bill's given Jim an extra couple of hits here, which was really unnecessary. It was too close from, uh, probably maybe try to, you know, uh, protect versus the frenzy, but he should know that the gym is not going to hit yeah. those. Yeah, didn't like it. Gets the ball, casual catch. Happy days. I think uh, Kill Bill ran out of time because that... Uh, Throw it at the back. I'm not very sure what he's doing there. Yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> so Jim, Jim was really prepared, wasn't he? He actually opened a friendly game and got his setups all saved. Uh, yes, so yes, that's a with. proper master class of how to do things. Let's see if um, Kill Bill gets punished for leaving that hatcher no. open. Nope. <laughs> Tan farm doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, there's no it's not no punish here. Um, you know, the quick snap and the sort of uh unimpeded hit on the catcher. Should have paid off more, but you know, that's Blood Bowl. Stain. Stun helps, doesn't it? Every armor break helps right now. Oh, yes. So remember, guys, the zombie we are all uh, looking for what is Loki is the one that did the. Four plus, four plus, five plus, two plus, two plus, 
into pause uh, yesterday. It was amazing. <laughs> it was the most epic place. You're gonna see, and now the foul. I think uh, Jim has a uh, bench. Yeah. Absolutely, Jim foul. Oh, Jim no. foul. No, no, no. He didn't, didn't get the... sent off, so you've yeah. got to consider that one. You know, from on Jim's basis, you've got to consider that a successful foul. <laughs> Great result there. Stun doesn't help. Uh, yeah, it's also stun with mighty blow, so no big drama there. I'm not sure if this policy of uh, offering as many free hits as possible. Feels a little bit herp derpy, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, is that the. Yeah, it feels a little bit of um, herpage going on. Fuck's sake, Jim. Sharpen your claws, will you? <laughs> there you go, follow. That's the play. Sula of stand firm. Is Jim, looking, is Jim looking for the um, the hit on Griff here? I mean, he got that free shot at the Griff, so... Yeah. And he can, you know, if he... Even with Fenn. Oh. Oh, okay, oh my God. Oh, that was the Griff play, you know, baiting the double skulls. <laughs> and even with the Fenn, is still tight, you know, to the golem and the other players. So yeah. And now Jim can blitz with the wolf. And in the meantime, we can see how the thrower is still at the back of the field, you know, checking the play. That must be some 4D chess bollocks that we don't recognize, Fame. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, probably the square, you know, that has a six on every roll you made from <laughs> the square. It's Jesus. decent enough dice following the the scary skulls. Um, Jim's counting. He's got two turns left, so he's just doing a little recon count. Uh, Kill Bill straight away puts in a scoring threat. The balls on case. this guy. The balls yeah. on this guy, eh? <laughs> Also, is to have any option in the next turn to, you know, go you behind. Know Why not? Why not put a scoring threat in? Griff can do some really crazy stuff. And that thrower um, that we've all forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stun doesn't help. So Jim has to be careful here. We can't really potato, can he? No. Not with Griff. But he can tie the tackle piece. This is the only tackle that the Kill Bill has. And the Ghoul has blotch. So in blotch we trust. Uh, Satterfield, I assume the humans have an Apo. Um, and yes, I would probably be looking to use an Apo on a kill just to stop a zombie. On a dead. Of the zombie, yeah. But to be able to do that, you know, uh, Jim has to destroy um, someone. Can Jim? Can Jim take the left here without the uh, much problem? I have to say. Stand firm, Jim. He's going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Jim was looking for the push there. <laughs> I think now... I think he's probably looking for, for an armor wreck. Um, so he's looking to lock Griff up with the zombie, I assume.
Yeah, there we go. And now, this werewolf really needs to dodge out. Oh, it's the moment all of you have been waiting for. Three plus dodge of a wolf. There you go. There we go. There we go. Now the thrower has the blitz. I, oh. don't know. I don't know if there's any good. I think he needs to go another square. I think the wolf there is uh, ah, the, I don't I don't actually think no there's there was no good either. He had to go another square otherwise Griff could have gone in on the diagonal. I think Kill Bill can get two D on this ghoul here with the stand firm blitzer. Yes he needs one GFI and then Yeah. And then the, the thrower, because he needs a hard power anyway, doesn't he? So... And this is going to be it. Fishing for the pow, double GFI, yeah. uh, one reroll. Jimmy with Jim. three rolls, absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I don't know if Jim could have done a lot more than give this hit up. Reroll. Wait. What? What? Why are you not re-rolling that? Explain to me why he didn't re-roll that. I, uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that was a gotta be a mistake. mistake. Yeah, gotta be a mistake. a mistake. But that's a big mistake. And now Jimmy is gonna need some uh, dice here because uh, Kill Bill decided to not fail any roll, which is the that's <laughs> Jimmy saying it now. <laughs> Focus on your own game, Jim. It's diff To be honest, when your opponent is literally making every dice roll ever, it's difficult to focus on your own game and not comment on their dice, isn't it? But ultimately, you have no control yeah. over your opponent's dice. Um, but I understand why Jim put that there, because we would have all been thinking that. GG muted, by the way. <laughs> they know each other, so yeah, this is, this is fine. I don't know if that's great. Uh, so he's going to be looking at two dodges here. What he needs to do is, yeah, push him, push him across. White goes to support there. The other white hits. And then, uh, actually, no, it's just one dodge for the score. Yes. One dodge, two GFIs. There you go. And there you go. Easy. 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 No pressure whatsoever. Woohoo. Nice spot, Jim. Nice little gap there. The KO comes back. But now Jimmy gets the 1 1, the ball, and the LOS hits. Yeah. I'm so glad I gave Jim's... myself a whole half to remove players and <laughs> did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sharpen those claws, Jim. It's another half. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay. Kill Bill is very, very determined to try to avoid the frenzy hits in the LOS. I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, okay. Yes, I mean, uh, 
Kill Bill uh, roll a lot of good dice, but truth to be told, Jimmy finished the half with uh, three rerolls. Yeah, and um, yeah, Jim only rolled. Jim only rolled a skulls, didn't he? All, yeah. his, all the other dice that he rolled were pretty good. He made a fraction of the dodges that Kill Bill did. Um, bearing in mind that Jim did get two KOs early in the drive, so that put Kill Bill under real pressure. Um, but yeah, I think um, Kill Bill failed one dodge, but re-rolled it into a success with the thrower. Um, so yeah, so you've got to be somewhere near it. Yeah, it's probably around the 14 mark, if not more. Yeah, Kilsey. Uh, well, two things, isn't it? The mistakes that he made, running out of time, um, and, you know, the... I don't want to call it attrition, because it's not attrition, but the KOs that Jim dished out early doors put Kill Bill under real pressure. Now Kill Bill in the second half, if he has an apple, he has to use it, uh, use it in a, in a KO or something like that, 100%. Yeah. First thing that happens, he gets the apple. Yeah, absolutely. Jim's really disciplined with his werewolves, um, not taking, not taking the early blitz. Didn't pay off, but that was a good option there. Yeah, yeah, it was it was the right thing to do when it take the both down. I wonder if Jim gave a lot of thought to taking Mighty Blow on one of the whites. Um, it, it, it would have certainly been an option. Maybe, maybe sacrifice a guard on a flesh golem. Oh, I mean, then, then what's the point of having the flesh golems? You don't have well, guns. yeah, they're still a roadblock, aren't they? But, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I think Jim's, Jim's decision was probably optimal. But it would be nice in lieu of the werewolves not hitting on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. It would have been nice to have a mighty blow option, wouldn't it? But we are where we are. Yeah, you know, I would so. have gone for one of the wolves with tackle. Yeah. What, instead of Mighty Blow? Just yep. a straight tackle. Yeah. Block tackle. With one tackle in the team is enough format, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the beauty of the game, isn't it? So, you know, straight away, um, a couple of coaches are going to say, no, I would have done this, I would have done that. And this is the beauty of the game. You know, um, it's really subjective. Who can say who's right or who's wrong? Exactly. <laughs> there was a supercomputer, you know, that were able to decipher the best play ever, every single time. People will disagree with the computer. Yeah, yeah. Let's not forget there's a school of thought that says that the uh, scoring can be a bad uh, move. You'll probably not take the fend there, yeah. So, is Jim giving up a hit on a wolf here? Uh, not now. Look nah. at that clever little placement there. Uh, actually, he is, isn't he? Because neither of them are armor broken, so you can stand up to stand firm and mighty blow the wolf. Yes, he should have been in the other square. Jimmy, notice the tackle should be at the right of the zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Calculated risk or mistake? I don't know. Mistake. He had, he had pointed <laughs> it on the screen. No, he had pointed it on the screen. He had uh, moving his uh, the mouse to the square. Uh, right, okay. I missed that. So, yeah. So, you know, and again, Jim is, Jim is one of the realest guys in Blood Bowl. He will be the first one to acknowledge when he makes a mistake.
I know that's a lot of uh, human players uh, tied. It, yeah, um, Squirrel Dude, that's a really good point. The fact that he's deliberately left the block guard catcher off the pitch. You think you think you'd be you think you'd be uh, fielding him, wouldn't you? Oh, here we go. Bit of griff bullshit. <laughs> Jim done like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jim may not like it, but um, because he's on the wrong end of it. But I think it was a really, really aggressive move. And Kill Bill does not give a toss about rolling free pluses. <laughs> no, no, no. He yes, throw the dice. Yeah, this has put Jim under real pressure right now. Don't get me wrong. There, there is a heightened element of luck in what Kill Bill's doing right now. But do you know what? It was either that or sit back and just let Jim hit away, which I think would have been a little bit suicidal. So I actually really like the way Kill Bill's playing this right now. High risk, high reward. Yep. Another made dodge. Kill Bill does not know how to fail dodges. He failed, but the player has dodge. Hip hop dodge. I've been playing this game for 30 years and haven't mastered that skill. More than 30 years, actually. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, true that, Kilzy. Come on, uh, Jim. The armor breaks should start coming now. He really needs an armor break just to make himself feel a bit oh, better. And there you, we oh, go. he's the leader! <laughs> Talk it in. There goes the leader. Call it it. Call it it. Yeah. That will make Jim feel a lot better. And there was no apple at all. So he doesn't have an apple. So that's one roll. Or the drive. One day. Next Auto time. removal. No. So that's that's absolutely fine, because that isolates Griff on the wrong side of the pitch. Jim's going to switch with the ghoul, isn't he? Yes. Now he needs a power here. A power needs would be power, very really. nice. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, but he has a dodge. Uh, that's fine because he can still he can still hit with the white, so that's fine. Oh, gets the power. He's got to follow up though. No, I, I, he's got to he's got to go further than that. Maybe he has to retreat here. Five seconds. One square oh, to the right, maybe. Him. Oh, that's bad. One day away from unleashing Griff. You could, you could one d, you could one d the zombie. Oh no, you can't now because he stood up that lino. You could have one d the zombie and created a chain. Just saying. Yeah, what's gonna do? What's <clears throat> gonna do? Is gonna try to reach the four plus with the grief. Why wouldn't you? No tackle on the pitch.
Ill Bill is down to 13 seconds here as well. He's still got a lot of active players on the pitch. These guys do realise they're playing in the blitz pit. They're gone. So, Metso, how you doing? Oh, Escuro, how you doing, man? Okay. Yeah, Benny Bartes, um, it'll be interesting to see what Jim says about that last turn with the goal. He, he must have run out of time. There's no way. Um, and Kill Bill's... Oh, there you go. Okay, so Jim's got a little bit of get out of jail there. Um, but, yeah, both Jim and Kill Bill falling foul of the one-minute turns. There's only a small amount of people that can comfortab comfortably play one-minute turns. There is a. If there was a CCL game, I'd say there is a sharp on grief. Yeah. But being a blitz speed, better leave grief there and do other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. All you So basically, the ghoul needs to switch to the left here, and you just need to keep Griff as locked as possible. You know, it's almost impossible to lock Griff because he's just so good. Interesting follow up there. That's a huge KO. Oh, yeah. Massive KO. Especially because, yes, Kilbill decided to leave on the line uh, the blotch guard catcher. So Jim's moving with a bit more urgency this turn. He doesn't want to fall foul of the one minute turn curse again. Yep, there's fine. So I would imagine the other Flesh Golem is either going to shore up this cage or lock Griff. Um, I think shoring up the cage is pretty good, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I don't, I, and you now don't is leave... the thing, do the, you dodge with the white or leave the white there? No, you leave. surely you leave the white there. Yes, yes, I leave the white there. Yeah. Um... This flesh golem can't do anything. Yeah, that that's enough, isn't it? Solid turn there from Jim. That KO was really big because it was a guard stand firm blitzer. Kill Bill's gonna miss him. Very tight game here, guys. Any roll? It is, isn't it? And do you Can't know what, Um We said this yesterday. This is another, other, other than other than Kill Bill Waltz's dodges, which have been insane. This is an honest game of Blood Bowl, isn't it? No yeah. one's no one's been victim of a comedy mega dicing, you know. So yeah, a good honest game of Blood Bowl minus I the dodges. I think Kill Bill having only one roll is gonna cost him a big time. Yes, very much so. And now he needs to yes blitz the zombie because. Um, it's probably the safest way to yeah, get the yeah. free. Push Griff, so push the zombie down, and then you're just repositioning Griff back in the center of the pitch. Will he go for a cheeky GFI? Bear in mind, Griff has short feet. I would. Yep. 2036, so... Yeah, the dodges have been a bit BS, but on the spectrum of Blood Bowl BS... It's not that high, is it? It's not that offensive. There you go. That's a one in nine that he has to eat. Yeah. Yeah, you called it, Fame. That losing that really that was massive, wasn't it? Losing that leader reroll, huge.
Ah, there you go. Blister. Ah. I know the removal. Okay, so that really helps. Again, it's turn 13. Um, you know, Jim can still cage up behind his own LOS. He's still got four turns here with high mobility players. So nothing to panic about. I wouldn't bet against some Griff Overwall bullshit. Next yeah, turn. Yeah, that involves uh, Griff rolling dice. So at least you had that going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Benny, absolutely. Um, so I said yesterday, Jim's a naturally fast player anyway. Um, don't get me wrong, minute turns will test the fastest of us, and I'm a fast player as well. Minute turns will really test you. Um, but Jim, like, and Famia correctly pointed out yesterday that Jim legitimately plays two or three turns ahead. You know, there's few that do it better. Um, so... Yeah, but um, this is why the likes of PC, Dio, um, you know, uh, K Fog, etc., do really well in this format. Yes, that's the, that's the thing, you know, being able to think ahead and being smart and using those 50 seconds after a push or something like that to check the pitch and uh, make other decisions, something like that, that's uh, what it is. Yeah. Is that and fast? 57 minutes per game? <laughs> Not as fast as Muppet Pac Man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How you can do that, man? The other guy also plays, you know? I, I thought I was fast, but holy shit, Muppet Pac Man. <laughs> Bow your head, you lowly dog. <laughs> oh, Volcanjo's a fast one as well. Look at that. Jesus. Ah, <laughs> Benny, fair play. <laughs> anyway, so we, we digress. Back to this game. Um, so now Jim needs to push past the LOS. He needs to be within two turn scoring range now. I think he can achieve that. Uh, yeah, easy. yeah, pretty easily pretty easily um okay all right okay so the zombie goes there yes. i was about to say he blocked his own path with the zombie he could have pushed he could have theoretically pushed that zombie another square up it's fine it's fine where it is you know what are we no. looking at here fame here? um uh, uh dodge werewolf, werewolf dodge Probably yes, because if you stand up, the wolf doesn't change anything. Yeah, uh, so so that's pretty clever. Ah, oh, Jim can't go. Ah, oh, he has to get a pal here to unlock that white. He has to get a pal. Got the pal. Talk to him. You gonna be a cast? Feel it. But now the free white can uh, close the door. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you just stand up the werewolf now and let him take a shot? No. Nope. Nah. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, that, 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 that was the right play, wasn't it? I was just throwing an option out there, really, you know? Now there's zombie that is uh, there. There you go, one in nine. No, you have to reroll this, mate. Yeah, had to reroll that. That's it, and that's it. That's the last reroll gone, and that's the thing, you know, playing with low rerolls. Yeah. And from now on, it's all grief. Grief is the only one that can repeat the rolls as a thing like that. So it's all on grief. Yeah, here comes the grief bullshit. Oh, he's going to go straight in on the side with the flesh golem, isn't he? Going to blitz the golem. I know they work, they work. Oh, no, okay. Much better, much better option, I think. Yeah, yeah. One in 36 here for the... I know, no. Very disciplined there.
So Jim Jim has to be careful here um, because Griff, <laughs> you know. Yes. But I think he can uh, more or less uh, lock down uh, Griff very well. Would you have, would you have cage dived with Griff there? I think I might have cage dived. And I think I like Skurometso's option of diving in from the top without guard. Yeah. And now he has the chain here, which uh, offers him, you know, uh, yeah, well, pushes Griff away, unlocks both werewolves. Lovely. There we go. Oh, there Cheeky you go. Injury. Beautiful. Cheeky guys. Happy days. Oh, but uh, Jim really, he's left, he's left an avenue around the back here, isn't he, for Griff? It's not easy. You know, bearing in mind that Kill Bill's got uh, no... He has the, the white, a free white. All oh, right. Okay. So yeah. So he's going to push the white up there now. Yeah. Correct us. Oh, there's good enough, isn't it? Yes. I think that's as good as it gets, Jim. Jim does have two re-rolls, so there's nothing stopping him using a re-roll here. Obviously, uh, next time uh, Jim uh, has to use the... Oh, that one in nine. I had a little heart attack there. It was one there. like, whoop. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy has to use the roll if it means scoring because he's just winning the game. So... Um, yeah, tag one of these werewolves, and then here goes Griff. Griff is going in. Top is Arch. That's an, that's an easy release for Jim there. An yes. easy release. He has the two whites with the yeah, guard uh, yeah. very well uh, situated, so... Kill Bill has to do some more serious dodging here. Yes, that guard uh, piece there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where'd, you put, where'd, where'd you put him? Um, I, I don't think there's anywhere that's beneficial. Unless Next to you... the wolf, maybe? Well, yeah, that's your only option, isn't it? You know, you've, you've got no other option than that. Because now Jimmy has a very too <clears throat> easy to the... What? Okay. Oh, wow, stop oh, wow. it. Oh, wow. Stop it. That is ridiculous. <laughs> he decides to finally fail a dodge. Finally, you know, like, okay, I'll fail this one, you know. <laughs> yes, uh... That was horrible. Wow. Kill Bill uh, saying that it would be nice to roll up out. Yeah, he's... Oh! Okay. To be fair, Jim would have rolled his snakes there, regardless of what he decided, what course of action he took. Still didn't like it. It still felt unnecessary to me. Do you, e do you even do you even unlock the Griff now? The wolf. Yeah, uh, you, you just take the dodge, don't you, against Griff now? Uh, werewolf that Lino out of the way and then just rely on the 3 plus with built in dodge. These Good dice. Enough. Good enough. <laughs> Heart attack dies here, and this is the one in nine for winning the game.
And that's it. There Jimmy makes go. it and keeps in the winner's bracket. There you go. <sighs> he might score Oof. a one turn, he's got Griff, but I mean there is two oh, stands going for the LOS, isn't there? So hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unlikely, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, yeah! yeah hard work. Oh, this. God. I love the Do ball. I want these here or do I want them back? Oh, yeah. You are a walking advertisement for the ineffectiveness of Claw Mighty. You realise that? <laughs> I don't know. I did all right here. Look, two cars and two KOs. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and it, but, yeah. I one, maybe because... Kill Bill gave you a lot of blocks, eh? The guy uh, wasn't scared of uh, facing uh, the wolves or the whites. <sighs> I mean, he would have liked pals, but seeing he got all the dice that didn't matter is a bit of an exaggeration, because a lot of those dodges were pretty critical. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, you, you know what I meant. On the spectrum of... No, no, what, what he said, what he said, Kaz, he said, oh. it's like... It, oh, right. Because I like you know I said something like I wrote lol when he made that dodge, which was huge, wasn't it? Because that like that stopped it just being easy. Yeah, massive. Then, yeah, it was, yeah, it was an easy release, wasn't it? Otherwise. Yeah. And then he said all the dice that don't matter, which is, which is not strict. Like, like I know where he's coming from, obviously from him, from his point of view, it looks frustrating in that he's had you know four dice on the ghoul and hasn't rolled a pal, but he has only had four dice on the ghoul. And one time he didn't choose to re-roll, didn't he? Actually, he's had six dice on the ghoul, but one yeah. time he chose to not re-roll. Yeah, that so, was the, I think that was a key, you know, uh, thing because there was no other rolls involved. Yeah, yeah, one time he had to re-roll it for sure, oh, he just rolled a quick snap. Re -roll. I've seen many players ruin their own uh, one turn attempts uh, with a quick snap. Yeah. Um, I chose to leave my ghoul on the right that turn, not running out. Yeah, sometimes I just run out of time because uh, I, it's just easier than ending turn. Like, you know, when you've got a few seconds left, I just think, yeah. I've decided that I'm just going to... I've decided left, that I'm going to not move. There. You left... You left your ghoul there deliberately. Yeah, yeah, because it was a four plus dodge from Griff if he goes for it, and I thought seventy five percent. Like it's seventy five percent is pretty good odds, but I was there next to my players, and I thought if I run the other way, he's still got a, a guard catcher that can go there. He can probably ma manufacture something in the middle. Griff could still follow me around on a four plus two plus. He's movement ten, so like yeah. I thought, I thought I'd rather drop it next to like my two ghouls and my uh, my two wolves and my uh, white if I drop it, you know. So I thought. That, that was my thinking, and I like to run out of time because then my opponent doesn't know if I've run out of time or if I've chosen it. <laughs> and there you yeah. go. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, I wouldn't say that uh, he made several game losing mistakes. So he did some mistakes. Well, leaving behind the catcher with the blotch guard, yes, that, that's massive. That's massive. Yeah, yeah, that was huge, wasn't it? Yeah, he just did, because it was, I saw that it was on the bench, and I thought, I wonder if he'll check his bench, and obviously he didn't, and yeah, that was a huge Yeah, he might, he, might be, he might be kicking himself for that, but let's be clear, Kill Bill didn't play badly there. He didn't play you know, badly at all, no, no. We, we're oh, no, all no, allowed no. to make mistakes, aren't we? You know, um, yes. you know, we're all human, especially in minute format, and I thought, I really liked his aggressiveness, you, yes. know, in, also, you know, in the second half, I, I loved it. Yeah. Also, I mean, yes, he was lucky with the Dodgers and all that, but... I mean, what do you want to do? You know, you want to 80% uh, dodge. That's very, very nice. But, like, what do you, you want to do? 80 nil for the GFIs. Jesus. 80%. You'd you take that, wouldn't you? If somebody said to you pre game, 80% dodges, you'll shake their hand and say, thank you very much, Governor. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I was going to say, I did 23, but I didn't. I made five and didn't fail any, and made four dodges and didn't fail any. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, you know, it was right, but also, you know, the, the, the Kill Bill, you know, like, okay, he was getting the rolls done, but what you want him to do, you know, to stop? Oh, sorry, guys, I did too many three pluses that I need to actually try <laughs> yeah. have a chance. Exactly, yeah, like, it, it, re it was really, well, to be fair, he didn't put block guys, he didn't block on the LOS with block, did he? Blocked on the LOS with without block. Um, which I guess his idea was to keep the stand firms holding the flanks, but then him, him not blocking with a, with block on the LOS meant that he been, made that one in nine, which put him under the cosh, didn't it? And then he had to make, start yeah. making loads of dodges, and then there was the removal, and then so like it, it wasn't that he was playing bad that he hadn't made loads of dodges. It was it was the like accumulation of game state, wasn't it? That meant yes. he just had and to keep uh, making those dodges. I think he? the yeah. biggest the weakness of the team was that uh, having only two rerolls, one of them depending on the thing that when he lost the the leader piece and he just got us one reroll for the second half and the extra time if you reach that i i knew that okay that's gonna create a chance at point because he has to a get that an over because he has to eat a roll 
or B, risks the reroll, and then if it's going to extra time without rerolls, it's like, with humans, very rough. Thanks, Dio. Yeah, is is top three guaranteed now? Glorious. Oh yeah, top oh, three top guaranteed three now for you. Woohoo! <laughs> In the money already. Jesus Christ. Woohoo! Glorious. <laughs> Glorious uh, money domination. <laughs> well, I mean, it was tough. I think he played. He played great in the second half. Kill Bill. I think. Yeah. If yeah I think he played very well. He, yeah. he can leave the go to the losers bracket with a head high. Yeah, yeah. If anyone said he played bad, I think that's a bit harsh. I think he played great the second half. Yes. And the first half, it, it wasn't that he was playing bad. It was just. I mean, you could argue that he played bad with taking the blockless blocks on the LOS, but then th there was pros and cons, right? That's what he was thinking. He was thinking those stand firms and this. But um, and then obviously that it was a big mistake that he made leaving the block guard guy off. And then I guess on defense, like it, on the like the four turn, he just he just forgot that throw it, didn't he? So there were some mistakes. Yes. There were yes, some but mistakes, in a one minute so. form, I think I was feeling that, and you were putting a lot of pressure. Things were complicated, you know. Like, I mean, for example, there was a turn that you offered a free hit on the wolf because you pushed the yes. the tackle piece in the ground square. Yes, yeah, so exactly, it's like yeah. things happen, you know, so fast. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no Fame, one's going to play. Um, yeah, Fame picked up on that. Um, you were you were furiously clicking the square that you should yes, have pushed yes. the character <laughs> back into. I <laughs> watched hundreds of hours of uh, Jimmy Fantastic YouTube videos. You know, I'm inside his mind. <laughs> yeah, that was that. I, as soon as I did, I was like. But then you see, the thing was, I wanted to push him there positionally because I thought if I push him off the side, it's too easy for him to get round the side and get pressure on the ghoul. So like, I really didn't want him to go for the ghoul. That guy. That's why I kept him in there. So it wasn't that I made a mistake. It was just, it was just like, oh, this is a bit risky because now he's definitely going to hit the wolf. But then I just didn't want him to go and, and like dodge away and come around the side and and, and uh, blitz the zombie and then face the ghoul. So yeah. it, it wasn't just a brainless mistake. It, there was there was pros and cons to it. So that's yeah, one of those was, things it was where a choice, maybe, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was a choice. But it was with, just with like consequences. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, ooh. But the thing was, if Artemis was watching that, he'd be like, what a fucking idiot. He's given a hit on the yeah. wolf. But oh then on the other hand, in the, wolf, <laughs> in the wolf with mighty blow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Take me out of here. I'm going back to Warsaw. <laughs> yeah. So the only, the only time in that game where I said, what is he doing? <laughs> is when he didn't re-roll the 2D on your ghoul. Yeah, yeah. M maybe he thought he was pushing the ghoul out of range when he did that. And th I think that makes sense. And then obviously he had this plan to like base everybody else. And it was quite hard, wasn't it? I did have to do like a 1D or something free. free. I had to do like a, yeah, I had to do a 1D or something, didn't I, to get the score in the end. So maybe he just thought that was worth it, but it wasn't. Like he had to re-roll it. Yes, that was the, the, the re-roll of the gods. Yeah. But it's you know it's, it's split second decisions. You've got a minute yeah, to calculate hard, yeah. everything you're gonna do. Yes, yeah, so um, you have you have in the back in your so mind. Tough. If I don't get the pow, I still have need to do roles with other players. So maybe you know a push is enough. May force him to do roles. You know that you know they, yeah. Just a few seconds. Yeah, and I believe the guy who blitzed didn't have blocks, so like I think that's what he was scared of. He won in nines as well. It's just an easy score, and I think that was his idea. You know, he had that plan in his head that he's going to move all these guys afterwards and make it hard for me if he doesn't get the power. But I think he should have powered just because the payoff is like it's one of those situations where like maybe, and also like I'm probably going to find the right play, aren't I? Is is the thing, and I think if it was like maybe it's a random ladder match against somebody who's like you know forty percent, maybe it is right to just take the push there, make your dodges and stuff, and then your opponent might not find the right play to score anyway, right? So th there is that element, but I think against good players, not to blow my to toot my own horn, um, I think versus good players, you've got to go for more of those things like the cage dives and all that kind of things, and, and re-rolling those aggressively because you've got to put the game in your hands. Anyway, um, I will I feel I'll just wrap up the YouTube video. Thank you so much, Fimea and Calcium again. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. Always a pleasure. Welcome. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.